breaking news from Legoland Windsor only 10 hours ago announcing the new stuff that is coming towards the park in the next few years. And over here on Theme Park Coasting, we have got this quick breaking news video to go through all of what's coming towards the park, looking at some plans and giving our opinions on all things Legoland. So let's get into it. First up, we had no idea this was coming towards the park, but we have got an adventure golf course coming hopefully next spring. Now this will be the latest thing that's gonna come in towards the park. And I am so excited when just looking at these plans. I've got up on the screen right here, like literally, I mean, it has just been announced. And we can see by the first concept art, which I'll have up on your screen right now, that we have got this heavily themed indoor area, which of course will be the golf course featuring all the lands as we can see. It's got, of course, like the castle over at the back. It's then also got some pirate themed lands. And oh, I'm just so excited to be able to experience this. And on top of that, you've also got more of an indoor layout looking at all the places it's going to be. It definitely does give me feelings of the Splash Landings Hotel and the Alton Towers concept with their crazy golf course. So hopefully it was something along those lines. And when it does come, hopefully in 2022, we will be able to experience this amazing golf course and so much more. Of course, Legoland did officially have a golf course back when I was younger across from Duplo Valley, but unfortunately that has now closed. So it's gonna be really awesome to get that golf course. It will probably be an upcharge for us Merlin Pass holders, but it will be absolutely amazing to experience some nice golf over at Legoland in the near future. Next up, it will be a little while away, but we did have some sort of idea that this is gonna be coming towards Legoland. Now this is going to be their brand new coaster and is it going to be an imagination centre? We don't know. So markings have been made across the floor so we were speculating it for quite a while now. But Legoland did announce that they are going to be building a brand new coaster at the park in the near future. No opening date has been announced yet for this ride but I do hope it will be a step up from even the dragon at the park being something a bit like Polar Explorer at Legoland Billen or the Flying Eagle there too. Something along those lines will be amazing as I'd love to have a big, big coaster over at Legoland. Again, like they used to have with the Jungle Coaster. That again was one of my childhood attractions. So it's really nice they're starting to bring back some of these old attractions, but of course revamping them, making them a lot better and bringing it back in competition with the new London Resort opening in 2024. Of course, with all of these additions towards the park, guests need somewhere to stay. And at the moment, they have got two on-site hotels. Of course, you've got the Castle Hotel as well as the main Legoland Hotel itself. And I have been lucky enough to be able to stay in both of them and tell you that if you do get the opportunity to stay in one of those hotels, the experience that you get will cannot be beaten. With all these Lego models as well as the rooms from the moment you enter into the hotel itself, you would just be blown away. So I'm very, very excited to see that there's a plans for a brand new holiday village coming, hopefully, according to them, in 2024, a year before the London Resort is hopefully meant to open. So looking at this right now, there's not been a lot more from what we saw a few years back when they announced the plans towards the holiday village, but it looks very similar towards the Alton Towers Enchanted Village and the one they're gonna be adding over at Chesington, the lodges down there. So when you're looking at no more information has been said, but it is planning to go ahead. There is meant to be 150 lodges located on the overflow car park. And I would very highly assume that the golf course is going to be very near that too. As it's the sort of thing which would be nice because of course, if it is on the overflow car park, it'd be a bit of a distance away from the park. So it's really starting to maybe start the expansion of Legoland, maybe a second park maybe built in the near future, or just having that crazy golf over there in the distance it'll be really really nice to be able to go over towards the hotel have a little hotel hop as well as play a little bit of crazy golf and if you are staying in the hotel it's something that you can do along the way i doubt there's going to be a pool in it so by having the crazy golf it's like the leg light out of bottoms alternative towards the pool well, that is it from Theme Park Coaching, and I really hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm a bit sorry if the quality was worse than normal. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. But I can promise you that over here on Theme Park Coaching, we'll be filming construction of all of these new stuff coming towards the park, as we only live 10 minutes away from the park itself. So we'll be able to head down there every single week, probably twice a week, see what's going on. Live the Haunted House, as well as Mythica, which we film construction for every single month. We will do monthly uploads and then when it gets near the time, we will be doing individual ones as well. 
So that will be absolutely awesome. And I'm so excited to see you guys over on the channel watching those videos. And then, of course, for a grand opening, which I'm so excited for with his announcement. Legoland Winter has been an amazing park across the last few years. Of course, it is the busiest park in the UK at the moment. And it looks like they want to maintain that title when the new London Resort opens. Will it, though? I don't know. But at this rate, Mythica, now these, I think is definitely going to be up there with the best parks in the UK for a long time to go. But that is it from Theme Park Coasting. And my name is Tom Derrick. I've loved this announcement for you guys. And I will see you guys for the next video. Goodbye.